On the island of Malta, there's a set of stone temples older than the pyramids, older than Stonehenge, and their builders left no writing, no name, and no explanation. The complex is called Menajdra, and archaeologists date parts of it to around 3600 BC. But the most striking thing isn't the age, it's the precision. The main temple aligns perfectly with the sunrise on the spring and autumn equinox. On those mornings, the sun shoots a beam of light straight through the entrance, illuminating the inner chamber like a stone calendar. On the summer solstice, the light shifts, hitting a different set of megaliths with pinpoint accuracy. And on the winter solstice, the alignment flips again. These aren't rough approximations. The alignments are so exact that modern researchers had to use laser equipment to confirm them. Whoever built Menajdra understood the sky as well as the architects of Stonehenge, but they did it a thousand years earlier. And here's the part most people never hear. Some of the doorways, lintels, and trilithons appear positioned to match the rising of Orion's belt and the Pleiades, constellations tied to ancient myths about sky gods and descending beings. Other stones line up with the lunar standstill cycle a phenomenon most modern people have never even heard of. So we're left with a mystery, a prehistoric culture on a tiny island. No writing, no metal tools, yet they carved multi-ton blocks, hauled them across bedrock, and turned them into a functioning astronomical observatory. Did they build it on their own? Did they inherit the design from an older civilization? Or were they mapping the sky because they believed someone, or something, would one day return from it? Menajdra doesn't just question how advanced the ancient world was. It asks who taught them to look to the stars.